In this video, I'm going to discuss how to choose the right tech stack for your next project. So overall, what I mean by a tech stack is the language and framework to use to build your next project. The first and probably most important thing to define is what you're going to build. And this immediately is going to narrow down your options for the best tech stack. So some larger tech categories that you might be building in are a mobile app or a mobile game, also a website, or maybe you're doing some sort of data analytics project, or maybe you want to do something in V are or with web3 and crypto all of these larger categories have different tools that are best for them so it's very important to define what you want to build first so then you can look into the category itself and see the options within that the second thing you should consider is why you're building your new project and to me there's maybe three main reasons why you might be building a new project the first one is you have an idea of something you want to build and you just actually want to build it and essentially start your own company or start your own project around this idea. The second thing is maybe you're looking to get a job and you really just want to learn this skill so that you can go work for another company that is using that technology. That one is potentially the easiest one to determine the tech stack because for instance, if you want to go work at a company that uses Ruby on Rails, then you should learn Ruby on Rails. Lastly, you might be just starting this project because you want to learn this new technology. So for instance, if you want to learn Flutter just because you're interested in Flutter and want to see how it works, then really you already decided the tech stack and you can just go ahead and build something in that. Once you decide what you want to build and the reason you want to build it, the next thing to do is a bunch of research into the best tools available. So if you want to build a mobile app, for instance, you have a few major options, one being Flutter, another being React Native, and then also just writing it with Swift or Kotlin and actually writing it fully native. And if you do a little bit of research, I think you'll be able to find some of the pros and cons between all of them. Really, most projects can be solved by multiple different types of tech stacks. So at the end of the day, it will kind of come down to personal preference around the project that you're building. But there are a few things to consider when you're looking at these different tech stacks. And some of the main things are what is the core problem you're trying to solve or what is the core problem of your project? And then is there a tech stack that identifies that problem or addresses that problem better than any of the other tech stacks? Identifying that unique problem could help you in a lot of ways because maybe there's a tech stack that doesn't really handle that problem that well where another one does handle it much better. The last thing I would recommend is once you have it narrowed down to a few options of the tech stacks to use, try out a few of them and just get a little bit of a prototype set up in each of them and see which one you like working in better or which one is easier to solve the actual problem you have. So if you're doing this with mobile apps, you can kind of set up a simple Flutter app and see how that is. And then you can also set up a simple Swift app and see how that is. And then you can kind of compare them directly and see which one is actually going to be better for your specific project and which one you actually like using better. There are always gonna be trade-offs when choosing a tech stack. And it may seem like it's a huge decision that can't be undone. And in a lot of ways that is kind of true. Once you do start going down the road of a tech stack, it's going to be more difficult to switch over to a different tech stack, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. You'll likely begin to see patterns within these tech stacks and how some of them are addressing one problem very well, but maybe not addressing other problems. All of that should definitely be considered, but another thing you should consider is what you already do know and utilizing that. So if you wanna build a project fast, you're likely gonna be able to do it fastest in the tech stack you already know, but it might not be the best tool for the job. So you don't wanna just use what you know because you know it. This I think is more obvious in the web development sphere because there are multiple different JavaScript front-end frameworks now. So for instance, if you know React really well, but you're looking and considering using Vue instead, you might be better off just sticking with React because you already know React so well. However, it's also fun to try new things and maybe Vue is a nice fit for your new project. Unfortunately, there isn't really a correct answer when asking the question what tech stack you should use. And there are also additional factors to this to consider, specifically if you already have an established business and a team of developers, because those developers have their certain skills. And if you choose a tech stack that they don't know at all, you might have a long learning curve for them to get up to speed on that new tech stack. Another thing to consider is what type of developers are out there looking for jobs. So this kind of goes both ways. If you're looking to hire developers, you might want to choose a tech stack that has a lot of developers available. And kind of back to that React versus Vue example, I think both of those options have a pretty big developer community, 
But at this point in time, React is much bigger, so it might be a better idea to choose React because you'll be able to hire multiple more developers, in theory, faster than you would be able to hire a Vue developers. That is all pretty subjective, though, and I don't think it should be a key determining factor in your decision-making process, but it is definitely something to consider. On the other side of that, if you're looking for a job and you're trying to learn a new framework to get a job, the best thing to do, in my opinion, around that would be to identify where you want to work and then learn their tech stack. But yeah, let me know down below what tech stacks you have been considering using for your next project and ultimately which one you're going to pick or already have picked. All right, ciao for now.